Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a huge, huge ganache parfums haul. So um, I ordered a long, I, I don't even know how long ago, it's been more than six months ago, I know that. Um, the first perfume, oops, as I'm knocking things over, this is the first perfume that I ever ordered from Ganache Parfums, and this is Pistachio Gelato. So I don't remember where I even heard of Ganache, maybe from another YouTuber, I might have seen them on Instagram, I'm not totally sure because it's been quite a while, but I do uh, remember, obviously, <laughs> that I ordered this perfume, this Pistachio Gelato, this is not available on their website anymore, unfortunately. Um, from what I know, but uh, I ordered this because I absolutely love pistachio, and um, I had a Bath and Body Works candle. Actually, I want to say it maybe wasn't this past summer, but the summer before that that I ordered this, possibly, because I remember I had this Bath and Body Works candle that came out called Pistachio Ice Cream, and it is hands down my favorite candle from Bath and Body Works that I've ever had and when I saw that they had this perfume I was like oh my gosh if it smells anything like that candle I have to have it. Um, I wouldn't say that this smells totally like the candle. This uh, doesn't have the kind of sweetness or creaminess that the candle does. This is a kind of a sweet nutty perfume but not super sweet. Um, but anyways so with all that being said, I ordered this perfume first, and then I got an email maybe like a month later saying that the something about the owner or the perfumer for this company was going to be taking kind of like a hiatus. They were going to be shutting the website down, and then I want to say that the email said that they were not going to reopen, so I was really sad, um, but then I... I think I just got on there on a whim uh, a few weeks ago, maybe like a month ago, and saw that he is going to keep the website up, but I think he's going to be narrowing down the fragrance libra library to like 10 or so fragrances, something very small, like a very small manageable number. And so all of the fragrances in the fragrance library right now on Ganache parfums.com is uh, they're $25 a bottle and they are buy two get one free. So I went crazy. I've got 18 bottles of fragrance here to share with you. I'm just going to quickly go through each one, tell you the notes on each one. I will let you know just from my very brief first impressions whether I enjoyed it or not and um, let me know if you see a fragrance that you would like me to do like a longer review on, like a full review on, um, how it wears on the skin, uh, what it smells like drying down on the skin, those types of things. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got my phone here with the website so I'm just going to go uh, one by one through each one and let you know what the notes in them are. So. I will tell you also that these came, they shipped from California, so I live in North Carolina. That was a massive <laughs> travel that they made and unfortunately some of them did leak and some of the labels kind of got ruined. So I will let you know, um, you know, if that is, if the label was ruined on that one it, when I get to it. This one, um, I'm pretty sure the label did get ruined. This one is called Delectation. And I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, this label was totally destroyed uh, from leaking perfume. So this is, oh, <laughs> okay, this is Sweet Milk Accord, Bourbon Accord, Melted Butter Accord, Brown Sugar, Vanilla Bean Paste, Warm Pastry Accord, Sea Salt, and Sandalwood. And this smells delicious, uh, obviously very, very gourmand. Um, I have not tried this on the skin yet. I've only sprayed it on a piece of paper to smell it during the dry down. I will tell you that the Melted Butter Accord is very, very potent in this and almost gives it a um, artificial smell. So I love the way this smells. I think that the gourmand aspect of it is beautiful. All of the other notes, you can smell the brown sugar in it, you can smell just the warm pastry, it's gorgeous, but that melted butter note is just a little too strong for my taste. So um, I'm gonna give this a go on the skin, see what it, how it performs, see what it's like on the skin, and um, yeah, so that's the first one. 
Okay, so the second one I picked up is Lemony Claire. Now this is another one that the label uh, was destroyed, so you can't really see. It kind of just barely says Lemony Claire on there anymore. This is gorgeous. I am wearing this fragrance today. Um, these, you're going to get three-ish hours out of these. These are not long-lasting fragrances at all. I knew that going in because my pistachio gelato is not a long-lasting fragrance at all, and that is actually an extrait, so it should be stronger, and it is not by any means. Um, you, like I say, you will get two to three hours out of these, so, oh gosh, this is, this really is a stunning fragrance. So, this is, uh, vanilla Bavarian cream top topped with fluffy golden meringue and delicious Meyer lemon glaze. So lemon curd, Bavarian cream, Meyer lemon zest, buttery puff pastry, fresh baked lemon meringue, and white musk. And this is really beautiful. This smells like you are wearing a beautiful lemon pastry on your body. It smells so good. I was really happy with this one and I'm glad that I picked that one up. Okay, so the next one I picked up is called Southern Tea Cakes. This one, uh, the ones in the round bottles like this seem to fare much, much better. These ones did not leak at all. Um, these ones did not, the labels did not get destroyed. So, um, yeah, the square bottle ones were not as, I don't feel like they are as good of a bottle as this round bottle. This one did better. Um, but anyways, this is Southern Tea Cakes. Oh gosh, and if you are watching the subscriber that asked in my in one of the comment sections of my videos about a true amaretto almond smelling fragrance, this is for you. This is, um, again, this is called Southern Tea Cakes, and this is almond. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. I love this. This is Almond Cookies Accord, French Macaron Accord, Spiced Floral Accord, White Tea Accord, and Tobacco Accord. And this is stunning. Oh, it's all I smell is almond, and it is that beautiful amaretto, baked pastry, marzipan, delicious almond. I am so happy with this one. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm over here knocking things over. Okay, the next one that I picked up is called Cinelicious, and I will tell you right away, first impressions of this one were so good. It smells like red hot candies. So if you are into cinnamon, I think you will really like this. Oh gosh, it's, um, it's not too overpowering though. It's not a super loud, hot cinnamon scent. It's just this beautiful, sweet cinnamon candy scent. So. This is Spice Cinnamon Accord, Sugar Dough Accord, Melted Butter Accord, Cream Cheese Frosting Accord, and Precious Wood Accord. Oh gosh, and it's beautiful, and that's what it smells like. It smells like a cinnamon red hot candy, like on this beautiful woody base. It's so, so gorgeous. I'm really, really happy with this one as well. The next one I picked up is called a Rose Con Leche. Now, this one did have perfume leak all over the label, but the, la the label did not get destroyed like the other ones. Um, so, okay, a Rose Con Leche, which I think is like milk and rice in Spanish or something like that, milky rice maybe. Mmm, this smells so good too. Okay, so this is... Uh, I don't know that he's got the notes listed for this, so I'll just read you the little description that he's got on the website. A rose con leche was inspired by my sister Jessica's love for the dessert. Although I personally never cared for the dessert, I remember waking up on Sunday mornings to the delicious aroma of aromatic balsamic rice, spicy cinnamon, creamy sweet milk, and vanilla. This a rose con leche is happy moments from my childhood and memories of Saturday mornings with my sister. So I guess it's balsamic rice, spicy cinnamon, creamy sweet milk, and vanilla. Oh, and it's gorgeous. I love this one too. Okay, and I was so upset when I got this because uh, one of them came with the label completely destroyed. Like, you can see where it was leaking in the bubble wrap and now all I've got is a an, an imprint of the bubble wrap on the label. There was nothing to tell me which one this is, but I did figure it out by deduction. Um, this one is called Marshmallow and Incense. Oh gosh, and 
this is one of them this is one of the ones that I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Um, I need to try this on my skin. It's This has got a weird artificial chemical-y smell to it. Um, the notes on this one are marshmallow cord and raw incense accord. It's supposed to be inspired by smoky campfires and gooey marshmallows. So again, there's something highly, highly uh, synthetic smelling about this. So I'm really, I'm not feeling at all. I was hoping that this was going to smell something like uh, my By the Fireplace perfume, just a beautiful smoky, woody, like marshmallowy, gooey, sweet perfume. But this smells weird. It's got a weird synthetic note in there that's just not working for me. So that one is a definite fail. Um, Okay, the next one I picked up is called Bon Vivant, and that comes in one of these good round bottles. Um, beautiful label that did not get destroyed in shipping, and I love this one. Oh gosh, I love this one so much. So this is, let's see what this says. This is Tonka Bean Spiced Rum Crushed Vanilla Bean Accord and White Musk. This is right up my alley. This is beautiful. Mmm, this smells so good. It smells like a really beautiful, deep Tonka fragrance. So if you like Tonka Bean, I think you would really like this one. It's really, really nice. Um, okay. The next one I picked up is called Te Amo. Um, in this one that you can see it's got bubble wrap print on it as well um, really beautiful label though I love the red kind of reddish pink label but yeah it definitely got messed up in shipping but oh this one smells so good too this one is really really unique smelling um, this one is tart cherries amaretto rum white chocolate bitter almond and patchouli and it smells like cherries but the rum, this is going to sound really weird, this smells like cherries and marijuana. <laughs> there was, and this one I think was leaking, so when I opened the per, like my box of perfumes up, I could see, you know, I could see where something had leaked and there was some, there were a few different perfumes leaking I think and I got to this one and I let my mom smell it and I was like, mom it smells like weed and she was like, oh my gosh it does. So it's not just me, this is like cherries and weed. This is really, really unique smelling. Uh, not in a bad way, I don't know how this is going to smell on the skin, I have not tried it. But yeah, this one, this is an interesting one. I don't know how I feel about that one yet either. Okay, I have to start moving these down and making some room here. The next one I picked up is called Strawberry Panna Cotta, and this one unfortunately the label came destroyed. This one I did spray on my skin briefly and oh gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so good. Um, okay, this is one of my favorites that came. This is vanilla custard, sweet cream, crushed vanilla beans, white rum, and sun ripened raspberries. It's not raspberries, I'm sorry, strawberries. And this smells like beautiful strawberry candy. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so good in the spring and summer. This again has that weird kind of marijuana <laughs> undertone to it, but it doesn't do that on the skin. So I'm hoping the Te Amo isn't going to do that on the skin either, that it just smells like that in the bottle because there's something weird going on maybe with the bottle. It could be that the labels got soaked in perfume and maybe something weird is happening with the labels creating this weird smell. I can tell you that that marijuana note is not uh, present on the skin. So that is the good thing. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. So that was strawberry panna cotta. Okay, the next one I picked up Okay, the next one I picked up is called Sugared, and this one I can tell you already that I absolutely love. This is Pink Cotton Candy Accord, Blue Cotton Candy Accord, Mangy Cougar Musk Accord, uh, Marshmallow Accord, Wet Sugar Accord, and obligatory, obligatory Perfume Accord. I don't know what Obligatory Perfume Accord means, but this is gorgeous. This is sweet. This is can cotton candy. This is 
um, but it's got a dirty muskiness in the base that is so crazy. When you spray this on your skin, it sm and I have tried this on the skin, this smells like a candy perfume, like something, you know, sweet and almost childlike, but then there's this crazy musky, like animalic note in the base that just makes this so unique and so good. I am so glad that I got this and because it's got that musky note in it, it lasts a lot longer on the skin and the cotton candy sweetness stays present um, throughout the wear. So that is the good thing about it. it. It's not just sweet for a minute and then dries down to that weird muskiness. It's sweet and the muskiness is there, but it, they commingle co just beautifully. So um, this is another one of my favorites that I picked up. I absolutely love that one. Okay, the next one I picked up is called Sweet Sticky Things, and this is so nice. Um, Oh gosh, I love this one so much too. Okay, so this is cotton candy, saltwater taffy, waffle cone, sea air, caramel, and popcorn. And you can smell all those things in it. This is a strange, like, cotton candy, caramel, with like an ocean accord to it. It's very strange, but so good. It's sweet, but fresh at the same time. It's just really, really good. This is another one I'm super, super happy to have in my collection. All of the ones that I am not crazy about, I will probably just resell um, because these are, you're not going to, if you don't buy these now, you're not going to be able to get them anymore. So, um, yeah. Okay. Let's see here. The next one I picked up. Now, this is an interesting one. This is called Ciruela. Ciruela. I'm, I'm not good at pronouncing things. I'm probably butchering that. But this one has something synthetic smelling in it as well. Um, this is Ripe Plum Accord, Plum Blossom Accord, Dark Floral Accord, Incense Accord, Plum Liqueur Accord, and yeah, and then it says Incense Accord again. But um, I think, I think because I am not crazy about the Marshmallow and Incense one because it smells so synthetic to me, I'm pretty sure it's that incense note that I'm not liking in these perfumes because this has got that incense accord in it as well. And that's, and it, I'm pretty sure that's what is smelling synthetic. This is plum and some kind of weird floral. Um, I'm not totally sure how I feel about this one yet. I will have to try this on the skin. This is not great. And like I say, um, I'm pretty sure that incense accord in these perfumes is very, very synthetic smelling. So um, I will also tell you that there's two notably two perfumes are going to be reformulated for, from what I've read on the website. The strawberry panna cotta and the lemon eclair fragrances are going to be reformulated with natural ingredients. So I'm super excited about that because when he redoes his fragrances and relaunches them, I'm definitely going to pick up the new Lemon Eclair and the new Strawberry Panna Cotta because I would love to have both in my collection and also be able to compare the two. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know and I will definitely get, get on that once, um, once the new fragrances are launched, which I think are supposed to have it's supposed to happen sometime in October okay the next one I picked up oh gosh oh no some of these aren't on here anymore and I don't know well you know what the rest of them I can kind of I can kind of wing it because I know what is in them and um, so these must all be sold out at this point so I'm sorry about that I'm still gonna show you because I don't want to leave them out of the haul because I did pick them up but um, okay so the next one I picked up is called Fern Mayo and this one if you're a 90s kid like me you will recognize that name Fern Mayo um, if you ever watched the movie Jawbreaker in the mid to late 90s which I did. I loved it. I was a huge Rose McGowan fan after Scream uh, came out and she was in Jawbreaker. But anyways, 
Fern Mayo is a character from the movie Jawbreaker and um, yeah, I love that so much. I picked up this perfume just because of that and this is supposed to have like a Jawbreaker accord in it, like a candy accord. But I will tell you, and it's got violet in it because uh, Fern Mayo obviously becomes violet in the movie and that's what I smell absolutely forward, like f foremost in this fragrance is violet. This is a beautiful, sweet violet fragrance. This could be an absolute dupe for Guerlain's Insolence, if you ask me. Uh, I, in fact, I have I've got Insolence. Oops, as I knock things over, I've got Insolence right here, so I can compare them. Oh gosh, Insolence is a little bit less sweet and a little bit deeper uh, smelling. Um, Fern Mayo is definitely like candied violets. Um, it's a little bit brighter. It's got a little bit more of like a candy note in it. It's definitely sweeter, but if you're looking for an inexpensive uh, dupe for insolence, this would be a good one. Okay, moving right along. Okay, I'm gonna, this is a dud. <laughs> this is a hardcore dud right from the beginning. Uh, the next one I picked up is called Tea and Tobacco. So, and that's what this is. This is tea, like black tea leaves, and really gross smoky tobacco that I don't like. Um, I'm going to try to pair this with some kind of a very, very sweet vanilla to see if I can get it to work for me. But yeah, I'm not crazy about that one. It was kind of gross. I'm gonna leave the worst for the last, though, because there's one that is just, makes me wanna gag when I smell it. It smells so bad. Okay, the next one I picked up is Vanilla and Tonka Bean, and oh, this is good. The Tonka is very, very um, strong in this. This is very light. Um, it's not a strong fragrance by any means. It's sweet. It's basically just Vanilla and Tonka, so um, yeah, really nice. I think this will be a really, really nice layering fragrance. The next one I picked up is called Cafe Lush. I wish I knew or that I could find all the notes on this, um, but unfortunately I can't find the notes on this. Well, maybe I could on Fragrantica, but I don't want to put you through that. So, um, this is coffee though. This smells like coffee with cream. It smells like your morning coffee. It smells like um, when you open a fresh bag of ground coffee. That's what this smells like. I think that this will be gorgeous paired with the next one that I'm going to talk about. Um, I also think this would be gorgeous paired with a really sweet vanilla fragrance. I think this is just going to be a really, really nice layering fragrance to add like a really beautiful, authentic, uh, fresh coffee note to any perfume. And I think it will be really beautiful layered with this next one called Chocolate Ganache. So. This is chocolate frosting, and not like a milk chocolate. This is like a dark chocolate frosting. Oh, it smells so good, and that's all I can tell you about this one. It's probably got vanilla in it. Um, it's chocolate. It's gorgeous. This is authentic smelling dark chocolate. It's just beautiful. So there's chocolate ganache. And the final one I picked up, which was a huge fail, is called Sandia. And unfortunately, this is the one that leaked the most during shipment. And so when I opened that box, I thought I was going to gag because this smells so bad to me. And it was all over everything. I had to get a wet soapy towel and like uh, wipe everything down to try before I could even test these on paper because all I could smell was this and I was like oh my gosh if these all smell like this I'm gonna have to send this all back because it's so bad. This is called Sandia and this is supposed to be like a watermelon fragrance and it's so so bad like you can definitely smell some kind of melon note in this but whatever this is mixed with is foul and I am so sorry I usually do not say that about perfumes I usually love fragrance um, and even fragrance that I I don't appreciate or don't like I can still appreciate it because I, I understand that fragrance is very much personal taste and you know just because I don't like it doesn't mean that somebody else won't but this one absolutely stinks it smells foul and synthetic and weird. It's just odd. The watermelon note in this or the melon note in this is disgusting paired with whatever it is paired with and I do not like this. Um, 
I don't know that I would even resell this one because it's so bad. I probably will just keep it in my collection and, you know, let it hang out. I don't even, because I don't know what I would ever even do with this. It may end up just going in the trash someday, which I hate that. I hate to say that. I never speak badly about fragrance, but that one is so, so bad. Um, I'm going to show you two that also came in because these I just ordered these and they just came in yesterday. Let me know if you're interested in either of these fragrances. I can make videos about them. I just wanted to include them real quickly because they just came in as well. I picked up this Belle d'Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, I had a subscriber mention this in a comment and I was like, oh gosh, I got to get my hands on that. This is gorgeous. This reminds me of something that I already have, uh, but this is beautiful right up my alley. And then I also finally picked up this Lolita Limpeca um, perfume. I just got this little roller ball. This is, oh gosh, I can't even remember what this one is called, but it's like the Gourmand one. And this is like an oil because it's really, really viscous, but this is gorgeous too. Oh, this is a beautiful, deep, deep, not super sweet gourmand fragrance. Um, but again, I would have to test this on my skin. So those are just two little extras that I picked up as well. So I know this was a super long video. If you made it to the end, thank you for hanging in with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Again, let me know if there are any of these fragrances that you would like a full review on, or if there are a handful of them that you would like a full review on, I would be happy to do that. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.